My name is Karen Stolzner and I'm the author of On the Offensive, Prejudice in Language, Past and Present. My book explores the history and modern usage of many offensive words and phrases to shed light on the historical baggage that they carry and uh, their modern meanings too, to show why they're often considered to be offensive today. It explores prejudice, bias and discrimination in the English language and uh, looks at the most common types of prejudice, including racism, sexism and, and other isms. And uh, I discuss words that are blatantly offensive, like insults and slurs, through to those that are more implicitly offensive, such as uh, stereotypes and tropes and outdated terminology. Well, the chapter on racism talks about different kinds of groups and uh, topics including colonialism, immigration, uh, enslavement and segregation, and looks at how language is used to dehumanise people. And I talk about the language that's associated with race, ethnicity and nationality, and how this has changed over time and how racism has evolved over time. And the chapter on sexism observes how sexism is ingrained in the English language and how also how sexism has changed over the years and highlights the four waves of uh, feminism and talks about their influence over the way that we speak and write today. The chapter on ableism, uh, I discuss the language surrounding mental illness, intellectual and physical disability and also disease. And I show how our language reveals stigma and is used to marginalise different groups of people. And finally, the chapter on ageism uh, looks at stereotypes about different age groups, especially older people. And I think that this chapter is interesting because it's ageism is the, the one form of prejudice that we'll all face if we're lucky to live long enough. Well, I'd like my readers to feel that after they've read this book that they have a, a good grasp of and understanding of what words are offensive and why they're offensive. Well, On the Offensive takes a closer look at our language both yesterday and today to find out what it reveals about our attitudes and our beliefs towards different groups of people. And I also explain which words are preferred by the people to whom they refer. So I hope that you'll find this to be an interesting and an important subject.